and stand up and say, like, you can't get up in that dress and read me. And then she get up and say, like, I'm such a pretty girl. Like, basically, like, bitch, you want to be a girl, but you can't be a girl. Da -da -da. Like, basically trying to, like, tie him that way. And it's like, that's that's very homophobic. Like, no, no, not all gay boys want to be girls. I, I really want to put that out and open. Like, I love being a boy because, bitch, at the end of the day, I can fuck your nigga and go about my day. Y'all be fucking these niggas, and they be leaving motherfucker lemon pepper and backwoods brothers when y'all coochie, bitch. I get this nigga to dick with the, with the rubber, and, bitch, we, you know, baby, get out of my baby. Keep it moving. Try again. What's going on, insane gang? This is me. Back in again with a video, sis. As y'all can see, today is the last final episode of Baddies ATL. This last episode, I would definitely say it was better than the first one. I would say this episode was a little more spicy than the first episode, but it still wasn't good. This gave me like we was watching church or like a pastor or like some type of like, you know allowing you to fix your life type of situation and this is not what I signed up to see. I signed up to see Bad Girls Club, Baddies ATL. Y'all on here with the fucking um putting tags and offerings in and you know doing the holy ghost and, and kumbaya my lord i did not come for that okay i came to see bitches get their ass beat for talking shit and y'all literally let natalie nunn sit on this stage and talk her shit about y'all and did not do anything. And I feel like that's exactly what they did on Jocelyn's show. I don't know. Hopefully Betty Cole was a lot better. They got a new show coming out called Betty Cole. My bitch Lucci V. Y'all know I love me some Erica. I am going to watch and support her because she is a Chicago girl. Y'all know I love my Chicago women. So, so if y'all want to review a Betty Cole, just let me know in the comments and we can go ahead and get that cracking first episode. I'm going to definitely try to keep up because y'all know on these review videos, it be some days I can't, you know, get that episode out. But... For Betty Cole, I will definitely try my best to make sure every single episode is reviewed. And I want to go back to, um, Jocelyn's Cabaret, to, um, the early fights that happened and early drama in the beat, because I know y'all want to hear about that, too. This nigga just texted me, you blow me. Can it, can it focus? Throw this ass. Oh, fuck you talking about. So we're going to go ahead and go into the, um, the review video. We're going to start the motherfucking episode off with Tamar coming back in after she did her big storm out because, you know, Sydney, Sydney had um, made her mad or whatever. Whatever, whatever Sydney know how to do, the girl know how to make somebody mad. That's that's one thing she knows. She know how to go and make a bitch mad, don't she? Jason say he want to help out and make him come in saying she don't really know what's going on and she really don't care at the same time. I mean, of course, Megan don't know what's going on. She don't care because she was on the show for like, Three up two episodes. So she said she don't know if she knows Sydney got a dick or if she don't. And then that's when Sydney say Megan didn't come to her party or whatever. Janelle said she think Judy and Sydney been faking their beef. Now I said this a long time ago in my reveals that I feel like Judy and Sydney fake their beef because at the same time I feel like Judy is comfortable with calling Sydney transphobic stuff because she's been her friend. I'm pretty sure like they've been friends and like she be like bitch you gotta dig like you know joking kind of. So like now that they you know kind of faking like they're not into it, she just kind of keeping. The same energy. Tell me I don't apply no pressure. Bitch, I am pressure. I don't apply pressure to niggas. Niggas apply pressure to me, is you dumb? Jason then goes and turns to Natalie and Christina beef, and this is like we kind of get the little, you know, lit part of the um episode. Because then say the beef started between her and Natalie over the um, makeup situation, and then that's when they showed a clip of them fighting or whatever. She said, Christina said Natalie was too loud, and she popped her. She liked Natalie before the argument, and said Freedom didn't get paid for the makeup, and Natalie said she um, capitalized over a small thing and made it big. For one bitch, if you not paying people for their services and then you go and grabbing their fucking shit off the table and just trying to put that shit on your face, bitch, what is wrong with you? I ain't nobody finna tell you calmly like, oh girl, don't touch that. Bitch, don't touch nobody's stuff if they pay their money for it. This is a whole makeup artist with a whole brand and a whole money to make and you sitting here just grabbing his shit, throwing it on your face. Bitch, what they do to that? Instead if it was a hairstylist, like you don't just snatch that bitch flat down off the motherfucking table and just start using it or, or just take that bitch got to be glue and just like, Put it on your shit. Like, that's not how the fuck you conduct yourself. Girl, you don't touch nobody's stuff. Christina, girls, you crazy. Hey, I would've popped you, bitch. Fuck Natalie. So then, then Christina say Natalie was supposed to be her friend and pull her to the side and tell her, like, you know, calm down. So I guess she was on drugs. That's why she was acting like that because, I mean, regardless if, you know, you my friend or not, like, girl, you just, you can't just be touching nobody's shit. Regardless if, just don't touch nobody's stuff. And they'll say it was just two angry people who got physical. It happens. And Tamar say, um, asked if Natalie is still angry at Christina. She said she's not mad. She had no problem with her, but she got to be the bad guy. And it was more her mama bear instinct coming out because Christina had talked about her kids. Christina say, um, 
Nally was selling pussy in Dubai, and Christina say she um you know she ain't talk about um fucking that the kid. Well, bitch, if you sell a pussy in Dubai, bitch, kudos to you, bitch, cause bitch that means that must be some premium pussy, bitch. You get all the way to Dubai on your motherfucking coochie alone. Kudos to you, bitch. Christina say Janelle was fucking white men for money, and Tamar say um. And Tamar say, do she do she know that for sure? Like it's your it's your it's your facts credible sis, cause you you just giving out you just seeing all these things, but you not you not giving no receipts. Christina say it's a, a Google article basically about one of them selling a coochie somewhere. So I didn't look the Google article, but make sure y'all put the link in the comments. So I know y'all got all the motherfucking tea. So let me know what the Google article is giving, cause I want to see who was selling that coochie in Dubai. And bitch, how do I sign up? And that's what um Natalie um says she don't give a fuck about no pussy being so they um I think she did this whole like walk with the off the stage thing, but she ended up coming back talking about this billion dollar pussy, whatever. Like, I don't like this whole, like, new era of bitches wanna walk off their own reunion or walk off the stage when, you know, something ain't working. Like, I'm just, I just feel like this really weak because for one bitch, ain't no bitch gonna pressure me enough with some words, but I'm feel like I'm gonna have to get up and leave. No, bitch. I'm gonna sit and say what I gotta say until I'm done saying what I gotta say. And if I feel as though, like, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get my point across, or like, you know, too many people talk over me, bitch, I'm gonna stand up and motherfucking, bitch, you gonna hear what I gotta say. I'm not gonna leave the reunion and make a hissy fit backstage and they come back and sit down like that shit lame to me everybody who been doing it has just been lame like i don't know if everybody want to get that moment where they can just walk and say they walked off the reunion like bitch okay like you walked off the reunion but you came back so what was the point of leaving so now said christina talked about her key in the same video showed the end of the clip when she came back on stage and tamar said bitch she want to see the footage i want to see the footage so christina talked about Nally kid in the video and she said she said um and that's when after they played the video you know she said she didn't talk about her kid she was about her mother and kids because she know her daughter needs somebody to look up to and um Christina said she said what she said after like she said bitch I said what I said once you know the, the clip was over. Christina then go and like do this whole little talk way apologize. Christina said she never talk about her kid again or her mother and skills or bring her up or whatever. It was lame as fuck to me because they was literally in each other's face like they wanted to fight. Like basically like production probably told them to fight but they just didn't know how to initiate the fight so they were just like you know we just gonna talk it out because we kind of look stupid like bitch y'all I'm right here I'm right here too. Bitch, we, we know y'all right here, bitch. We sit here looking at both y'all look dumb as hell. Like, y'all both standing up, walking close to each other's face. Christina took her shoes off. Now they looking like she motherfucking Mike Tyson and shit with these damn big ass cornrows. Like, is y'all gonna fight or not? Like, I don't, it's, it's giving awkward at this point. Cause it's like y'all, y'all, y'all trying to fight, but then y'all don't wanna fight. I and mean, y'all do wanna fight, but y'all need to fight to make it interesting. But then it's like y'all don't wanna fight. Like, it, it just gave me very scripted vibes. I'm sorry. It made me very like, you know, y'all was told to fight, but just didn't know how to initiate the fight. Like, bitch, one of y'all should just rent up and call it a day. Like, just do or did a big Sydney when she was just like, oh, I'm just playing. <laughs> that was funny. It was like, she was like, you, you was scared, weren't you, bitch? Yeah. Tamar say, um, is she happy that they should be woman, woman and talking it out? And then Jason say, family is involved, so somebody need to ask me. I was with Jason with this one, bitch. If you talk about my motherfucking kid, I don't care if we talk about how long we've been talking for, how cool we've been, bitch. You utter, you could have said any other thing in the book, but you decided to do some, say something that has to pertain with my child. So, bitch, you don't need your ass to be, period. Bitch, it's kids at home that sit here being talked about, so somebody, some bitch needs to get dragged expeditiously. Christina didn't make her promise, um, say she don't want to, so then that's what Tisha want to bring up her fucking emails, the same email she been talking about for years, girl, they emails, get over them, we don't care about these damn emails, oh, somebody was emailing me, saying, your email is literally in your bio, anybody could have emailed you, I don't feel like Natalie would ever sit and take the time of the day to email and be like, oh, fuck Tanisha, da, da, da. like, I don't even feel like Natalie would be that type of person to do that, I feel like if she has something to say with you, she make, she goes live 30,000 times a day, she would have said it to you, to your face, so we gonna skip that whole part because I don't care about the whole Natalie and Tanisha situation. It's kind of just like, they just need something to talk about at this point. Jason said out of the BGC franchise, Tanisha and Natalie's up there. And then Jason said that Nat Judy said that she was BGC, but she's not. Then Seven said seven, season seven was good as fuck because of Judy, which it was. Like season seven was really one of the best seasons. And it was the one of the best seasons because Judy drunk it. Now um, Judy drunk as fuck saying she happy and I'm the um, seven favorite bad girl. Then Jason asked Megan who's the fakest bitch. Megan didn't really answer um, who was specifically the fakest, but she said people not especially and they true feelings about how they were saying because low key seven said she was popping all that shit saying she was gonna you know do this once with her to natalie christina's popping all that shit like she's gonna do that once through to natalie and she's gonna do that once through to janelle um who else was popping that shit like they was gonna do all this um bitch wasn't nobody else there fuck sarah ain't come so that was the bump fuck the whole womp right there because somebody could have popped sarah for at least shit nothing just you the people love popping sarah throw it down like everybody got through and just kind of like went to sleep i don't know it was very gave like snooze fest so then that's when uh, Tamar talk about how all black women gotta get together and be fighting. And he say, um, 
but like you know they don't gotta do that and then jason like everybody talking shit but not doing nothing everybody said they was gonna pop somebody but you know we all somebody here kumbaya so now tamar and megan kind of get into it because she said she didn't say they just should fight she just said they should be honest about how they feel and then tamar's like going on this motherfucking preach about how bitches are entrepreneurs and and mothers and how they walk waiting on the water and how you know they got kids at home and, and, and keep, you know i don't know this is tamar i live for you I would never not live for Tamar because that is an iconic bitch. But girl, this is not what, this is not the time and the place for us to be fucking adults, okay? We came to the Bad Girls Club reunion. This is the baddest ATL redemption, bitch. We is here to watch bitch get into it and get smacked, okay? Y'all literally let Jocelyn Cabaret reunion be better than y'all reunion. And they ass is not, they don't have the baddies. They don't have the, like these random bitches. Y'all is bitches that know how to fuck the TV shit go. Y'all know how what we want to see, what the people want to know, like... I don't get it. So that's when why she's talking about all this. Sydney texted upon herself to get up and fake run up on Judy. When I tell you that shit was so motherfucking funny, she said, she said, cause I'm about to bust this bitch and her motherfucking shit. She said, I'm just playing. Ha <laughs> ha. She said, ha <laughs> ha. I'm just playing. Did Tamar get up and walk off the stage again? I was like, girl, just go home, girl. At this point, you just leave, girl. Cause you, you mad, keep leaving, girl. Blood pressure, high as hell. This girl, just, just, just sit this one out. Judy say. Natty is fake but not pass her the jewels and that's when Natty hate um get that's when they get into it and Judy say like Natalie low key hate her and she start crying. Judy keep fucking crying. One thing about you that bitch is gonna cry. Like you grown as hell girl. Why do you care that Natalie don't like you? You was a grown ass woman. Like she's another grown ass woman. Like who cares that she don't like you? Natalie say she sent her flowers and bailed her out of jail and then that's when um Judy say the thing where Tanisha asked her about her anxiety and was like, you know, Judy needs to get her own room and she said we're not gonna keep making excuses for um, you know, for Judy and then that's when Natalie get mad and it's like, you know, bitch, when your mom and your daddy died, I was the only bitch that was there for you, Bill out of jail, like, I do understand where Natalie's coming from, like, bitch, if I'm the only bitch on the stage that's bailing you out of jail, sending your mom and your daddy flowers, like, you cannot say I don't give a fuck about you, like, regardless, like, even if that's, like, you know, money things or things that you gotta do, like, to get paid for, like, bitch, bitch, that's money she could've spent on other stuff and she decided to bail you out of jail and send your mama flowers, meanwhile, the same hoes you claim as your friends and, and you liked them so much, didn't do shit, so... I understand why Natalie was getting mad, cause Judy is a little crazy, like girl. She 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 is definitely obsessed with Natalie, like for real. That's when Samuel popped her little shit. That's the only little shit she didn't pop the whole ring. And she said this is what Judy mean. A point she's trying to make that like you know Natalie jumping on her face, giving her all this energy, knowing damn well like she's not gonna do it. But regardless, like Judy needs to fucking act accordingly. Like girl, what's wrong with you? Like you don't be, like you you you, you contradict yourself literally every other minute. Like literally every other sentence you say you contradict yourself like you just say you love natalie and then you're like oh natalie you don't love me like why do you love a bitch that don't love you i don't who, who does that he should get up and hug judy because judy start crying and natalie like judy is a lot like she always got a baby to her and shit and judy said don't nobody got a baby to her because natalie begged her to be on the show and then that then that's when natalie say um she runs together because she thought that they would be okay because they was friends and then judy say like everybody friends this one i'm like judy girl you're dumb okay at this point you just you talking about everybody friends everybody is not friends on this damn stage some people don't even like each other like that christina just said to fucking janelle with her apology bitch i hope you don't die but bitch like not something you say to your friend oh bitch i mean i wish you the best i mean i hope you don't die but i don't think about you like girl everybody is not friends so this sydney say she haven't spoken to judy in two years and judy said girl we talked right before the show started and jason said that um he writes about everybody he can like smell and bullshit so like they need to kind of like go to the bathroom and get their shit together yeah that's what i've been saying like i've been saying that this was bullshit since the beginning that like you know judy and sydney low-key like fuck with each other and at the same time if y'all talked right before the show started why did sydney not bring up that when they was in the conversation she waited till she got on the show to be like oh and bitch you tried to take my spot on bgc and did it a site it kind of gave you like storyline tease like y'all just want to make up some shit and y'all probably sat on the song phone and talked about the beef that y'all was gonna make up so I guess. Judy want a hug from Sydney and Sydney says she don't want a hug. Then Jason say Judy will flip flop and can't respect that because she said she kicked it about your mama being dead and whatever. But then you try trying to talk to her. So that's when Judy says she gonna disrespect Jason next because um he um like you know treated her ass. And then Sydney and that's when Jason says Sydney's through serial and call, and called you transphobic and you only gonna um disrespect him, the only man on the stage. So then Judy says Sydney is a man. <laughs> she said that's a man and then Sydney say, bitch, okay that's exactly why I don't wanna hug your ass because bitch you keep trying to be um cool with me but then you keep saying like you know I'm a man or keep calling me you know out of my um out of my gender. So then that's when Judy like you have a fucking penis. Where is the lie? <laughs> Judy you are making yourself more and more canceled. Like you cannot in 2021, you cannot even, like, I know you, you are entitled to how you feel in your opinions, but you cannot say that to no trans woman in 2021 and think that your gay father was still going to support you as hard as it is. Like, I still, I mean, I do have love for Judy, but seeing that, like, you know, her being transphobic, like, it definitely made me, like, you know, 
Okay, bitch. I, I see how to I see how to treat you. Sydney get up and throw a pillow at Judy face. Judy like, uh, don't touch me. Sydney say, bitch, you, what you gonna get your brothers? And Judy say, um, uh, Sydney hurt her feelings for not hugging her. And then Judy say, um, Sydney called Janelle a training. Why she can't call somebody else a training? And then Sydney like, bitch, I ain't call her a training. Um, the fans call her a training. So then Jason say, where's all this energy at from Judy for Natalie? And then Jason and then Judy called Jason an idiot. It's like, bitch, you fired. And then Megan say, um, the same ain't the energy ain't never the same because. Megan say, bitch, my energy is always the same, which what I do love for Megan, bitch. Megan do give every bitch the same energy, no matter big, small, whatever, bitch. You come for her, she gonna come for you just, just how you come for her. Tanisha say, Judy not a fighter, then Judy say, Sydney not a fighter either. And then Jason say, you only get it, so you only get it, get into it with people that you know that won't fight you. And then Judy say, Jason is fired, because he low-key reading her, because she only really get into it with bitches that she feel as though, like, won't hit her ass. So then that's when Jason say, um, if I'm fired, whoever put you in your net dress is fired. And then Judy get up and say, I'm a woman. Judy, this was really when I figured out that she was a little homophobic. Cause out of everything you could have said, you got up and was like, oh, I'm a woman and I'm a pretty girl. And saying like, you know, you do this little like Jason, you stand up and say like, you can't get up in that dress and read me. And then she get up and say like, I'm such a pretty girl. Like basically like, bitch, you want to be a girl, but you can't be a girl. Da -da -da. Like basically trying to like tie him that way. And it's like, that's that's very homophobic. Like, nope, no, nope, not all gay boys want to be girls. I, I really want to put that out in the open. Like, I love being a boy because, bitch, at the end of the day, I can fuck your nigga and go about my day. Y'all be fucking these niggas and they be leaving motherfucking lemon pepper and backwoods brothers when y'all coochie, bitch. I get this nigga to dick with the, with the rubber and, bitch, we, you know, baby, get out of my baby. Keep moving. Making, um, then goes out and vouches for Janelle. Say, Janelle don't sell pussy because she barely likes to have sex. And Janelle say like she barely like you know let people do stuff to her. Then, then Jason like well, why you got your what a guy give you a body? She like girl this ain't God giving body bitch I bought this. Then Tamar finally come back. I guess like they probably told her like walk off said girl because you giving us the vibes that we not looking for on this show. You trying to be the Holy Ghost and girl we trying to we trying to bring out Lucifer. Tamar come out and they do their final thoughts and I just jot down everybody final thoughts about how they felt. Megan says she happy for everybody you know keep succeeding. Janelle tell Christina that um the comment she made. That um, she should have contacted the Janelle specifically instead of like you know going on social media, and then she don't um, think she was on drugs at the time. But then Christina goes and say Janelle's like um, she responded as if she wanted to end it, but at the same time don't wake up tomorrow and talk your shit and go online talking that good shit. Cause like Christina said she don't think about Janelle, she don't want her to die, but she just don't think about her. That was really weird. Like she like I don't want you to die, but I just don't think about you. Like girl, what? You don't want her to, what? Sydney say she want an apology from Judy. Judy say she called, sorry for calling her a man and you're a beautiful woman. And then they hug. I don't know why Judy was doing air quotes. Like, Judy, at this point, you're getting a transphobic. I'm just going to hand and say out there. Like, the final docket is that you are definitely transphobic. Like, you don't have any love for your heart for people of, like, you know, trans identity like you might claim to like you know love the LGBT community and support them but you know I can tell you literally you don't see it as right to you know transition like you don't you don't feel in your heart how you was raised that that's not that's not you know that's not natural for you and it's like a lot of people in Chicago are raised like that especially girls like you know I've seen a lot of girls like even my hairdresser the girl do my hair like her mama um when I we was watching um one more chance together and she was just saying like real like homophobic stuff like why I was getting my hair done about um mangina and I was just like you know like Damn girl, like you know, you kicking up in here, you know, you, you you be happy saying hey to me when I come over here, but you sitting up here, um, you know, misgendering people on um, TV. So it's just like you know, that's just how like a lot of girls, you know, are, you know, brought up. So I don't feel like she, you know, hate them. She just she was raised to just you know go by the norm. She just say she disappointed and realized that it was a shit. A shit show where Doug was a shit show. And then she said the only way she gonna eat P again is on a food network. You know, she do her little if she don't cook the wings right in. Judy I guess this is the only as far as um Tanisha comedy goes, it's the food, so I'll let her have it. Tanisha said she was melting because the fans was coming for her because she was acting extra and she not used to that because everybody usually respect her. And I'm like, girl, yes, because you was doing too much on the show. Like, we used to you being, you know, keeping it real. Like, you be extra, but girl, you was being extra, but you weren't trying to, like, fight about it. Like, you was just running your mouth and running out the house, like, back and forth. Like, I'm surprised you stayed on the reunion the whole time. So now we get to Natalie. Natalie said she couldn't have done it by herself. She said that they came and delivered. She thanked them for coming. She said that Christina was supposed to help her and was helping her since the beginning so she don't have no bad energy since they went back so far. She said that she respect Megan for coming even though they haven't liked each other for years. Tell Judy that it hurt her feelings that Judy said she don't like her and when she really do care for her. I really do feel like Natalie do give a fuck about Judy like at the end of the day like Judy is definitely a lovable you know person like you know she definitely probably is a lot to deal with but I feel like you know she don't like hate her ass. Judy and Natalie hug. Jason says a lack of social distancing. Natalie thinks 
to Janelle. Natalie said she gonna keep her promise to make Sydney a bad girl, which she did. Then Natalie said she thinks Seven is a good mom. This, this, she said Tanisha and her is like sisters. And then Natalie apologized if she hurt anybody season and want them to come to um her, if she hurt anybody feelings and want them to come to season two, which we know then will ain't none of them hoes gonna come to season two. So that's when Sydney asked Tamar who and Jason who is their favorite baddie, and Jason said whoever cut the check. And that's when they say they was happy to um Jason said he's happy to share the stage with Tamar because she's been nominated for a lot of awards. He haven't been nominated for shit. And Tamar say like don't be in reality TV for the moment because you know it's if it's if it feel like it's too much then seek help. So then they clap because then nobody fight. And then Jason say he wants to see some fights. That was it. That's the wonderful video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, y'all. I kind of sped through this a little bit because it really wasn't a lot to get into this reunion. I mean, Christina and Natalie wanted to fight and didn't fight. Seven didn't really come for Natalie like I wanted her to. Megan didn't really come for Natalie because she really didn't have no reason to come for Natalie. She didn't really come for Tanisha because she said she didn't like Tanisha. Um, Christina was really calm. She's not really giving me like you know her old bad like she used to be on BGC. Judy is very delusional at this point. She's a drunk. She's been a drunk. Like I don't know why everybody's like you know surprised at this point. Sydney really I would say at the end of this you definitely were entertaining. I would say that like you know you was irritating at times, but regardless, without Sydney I feel like it would be a lot, 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 lot more snooze like i've been like it was this would really have been a snooze fest if sydney didn't like was there it's like most of the drama really started from sydney so like regardless of you hate her or not she made the show period follow on social media is my facebook instagram my snapchat for more we focus on daily basis while you want to see them i'm the realest to ever do if y'all want more on betty code y'all want to see betty code re reviews make sure y'all stumble that like button like motherfucking um the fucking um judy Fucking Sydney needs to be stepping on her body, girl. Sydney cannot keep her balance for nothing. I don't know how she would ever be able to fight anybody. I literally just saw a viral video of somebody meeting her and she felt hard as hell. I don't know if this is her, her signature, like she just fall in places, but she felt hard as fuck in that video. She was, girl, she, she fall. Oh, my fucking front door wide open, girl. Y'all gonna come rob me, girl. And on that note, that's it for the fucking video. And stay gang, since we out.